Hello guys and welcome once again to my channel. Today we are about to make a very traditional Greek recipe known as raisin bread or staphidopsoma. It is a fluffy bread with delicious raisins. It will absolutely blow you away. All the Greeks know it and love it. I'm sure that when you try it, you are going to love it too. So let's begin. First of all, we have to mix all the weight ingredients along with the yeast and the sugar. So we need milk at room temperature, if it's possible, the yeast and whisk very, very well. When the yeast is completely dissolved, add the sugar and the melted butter. Whisk again. And it's time to add almost all the rest of the ingredients. We need salt, we need vanilla extract, the flour, and all the spices. We need cinnamon and cloves. Goes in a little bit of orange zest, and that's it. And now put the bowl on the mixer and mix with the hook attachment for at least five to seven minutes until the dough is completely elastic and firm. When the dough is ready, add the raisins. We have black raisins and we have yellow raisins. And if you want, you can also add some cranberries or whatever you want and mix until the raisins spread into the dough. And my dough is ready. I love this recipe. And in Greece, we love this recipe. You will find in any bakery, raisin and cinnamon bread this way because it's one of our favorite breakfasts. And when the dough is ready, as you know, we use some yeast inside the dough so we have to let it rise. Now, we need a bowl, a little bit of oil on the bottom, put the dough in, Cover with plastic wrap and let it rise until it doubles in size. Approximately we need one hour. Set aside and in one hour we'll come back and prepare the raisin bread for the oven. And my dough is ready. And now it's time to shape our staphidopsoma, our raisin breads. And first thing first, take the dough out of the bowl and as you can see, it's perfect. Can you see that? And you have to divide the dough into 10 pieces. So we need five here and five more here. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So the half of them, I will form them around like this. And the other half, I will make them look like spirals, this way. Easy. And I will carry on with the rest, same way. I will shape them a little bit better, this way. And now we have to let them rise again for another more hour. So after one hour, we will bake them in the oven. And after one hour, dan dan! My cinnamon breads are ready for the oven. My oven is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius set to fan and we will bake them for about 25, maximum 30 minutes, not more than 30. So, put them in. One, two, and after 30 minutes we will serve them. And my cinnamon breads are ready and it's time to glaze them. The most simply glaze ever. Just butter and honey. Put them in a pot. And a little bit of honey. 
Greek honey, the best honey all over the world. And simply on heat until the butter melts. And when the butter melts, simply glaze them on top with this lovely glaze to make them shiny, to make them sexy, to make them crunchy and chewy and gluey at the same time. Because this is the simplest glaze ever. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this is for me. And I will try my cinnamon and raisin bread. This is lovely. It's so fluffy and so amazing. And you can feel the taste of the raisins, the taste of the cinnamon, the taste of the glaze. It is a very simple recipe that everybody can do it. And please, you have to make those raisin breads. You have to subscribe to my channel, make comments under in the video, and share this lovely recipe with your friends. See you next time. Bye-bye. Gracias. -bye. Ah.